we have a massive payload of updates from black box but the most amazing one is this cyber coder it is a new black box autonomous coding agent which is now available in vs code and it will be coming soon in JetBrains. so if i click here it's going to take me to the marketplace from where i can install the extension for my vs code but we'll be talking about it later for now let's talk about what are these updates so if you go to the documentation you can see this new cyber coder vs code AI agent is going to change everything about coding. Now it really doesn't matter if you're a hobbyist or if you're a professional developer. With this tool, you can actually go on and make your coding process faster and more efficient. And we're going to be doing this later on in this video. But for now, hold your horses. Another update that I really want to talk about here is this chat with PDF files and folders. I'm really in love with this because this way I can chat with anything inside my project. And one more update that I'm really excited about is the last update on this page, which is this amazing Robocoders AI. Now, I was really looking forward to this. And if I go to Robocoders now, you can see that it is now available inside VS Code. So we don't have the playground now. And that's all right. We can just test this out inside the VS Code. So that was all about the updates. Now let's dive into it. Actually install this updated extension and test out these new features. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host Shamrez and we're finally getting to the practical part of installing black box inside your VS Code and actually testing this out. So what you need to do is just click install here and I will be providing the link in the description so you don't need to worry about that. Let's click on install and then click on open Visual Studio Code. This will open up your Visual Studio Code extension marketplace and you can install the extension from here. I already have this installed because I use this quite often but for you, you can just click on install button which will be appearing right here and it will be installed. Now, once you're inside the black box AI chat, what you need to know is this is like the web app actually present inside your VS Code. And you see all the models here. If you click here, you can use the ChatGPT 4.0, Gemini Pro, as well as Cloud Sonnet 3.5. But we're going to stick with black box AI. Now, everything we talked about in the introduction is present inside this app builder. And we're going to test this out. So if I click on app builder, it will move to this new interface where I can select the framework in which I want to generate the code in. So I want it to be in React plus Tailwind. You can choose any of these. It's really up to you. Next, let's click here and add our prompt. So I want to create a task management app. Let's see how good this performs. So there you go. I have my prompt here, which is to create a task management app that has all the basic functions for a task manager, ranging from date and time to alerts on deadline. So let's see how good this new app builder performs. So let's hit enter. Now, this is actually building everything in real time. But the best part that I think about this new feature is, is this amazing version control. Like you are going to get the versions for each and every iteration over your app. So you don't need to actually maintain your versions. It's going to be your version manager as well. So there you go. The output is here. This is the desktop view. We have the mobile view as well as we have the code. So let's go with the desktop view and let's add meeting here. As for the description, I'm going to say staff meeting. As for the time, let's hit the calendar and there you go. As for the time, it's going to be around this time. Let's go and that's it. Let's add the task. So we have the task here. We have meeting. There's the description and the deadline. This is really mind blowing how easily it built the whole app in real time in front of us. And we can just click on it. And what we can do is we can delete this if we want. But there is something missing. If we are done with the task, we need to have a done button. So let's click here and add the done button. So there you go. We have our second iteration. And as you can see, it is actually maintaining each and every version of the code, generating the code. And we'll be seeing the code in real time right here displayed as you can see. So there you go. Everything is done. Let's go to the desktop view. Now, if I add a task again, the same one, you can see that we have the mark as done button now which will mark this as done and we can still keep this in the list or we can delete this. I mean, I personally think this app builder is up to the mark and we can actually build complex applications using this. But for now, I think this is more than enough for as an example to actually test out the new updates. Now, what we need to do is we need to download this HTML. Let's save this HTML file. And now what we can do is we can close this black box from here and we can go to the files. There you go. 
everything is done right here. Now what we can do is we can open up our black box chat again and this time we are going to talk with our file. So how does that work? What you need to do is just click on this button and this will enable the chat with your code files. And you can even go and select the file that you want to chat with. So I want to chat with everything inside this folder. So select and done. So now it's going to chat with everything inside this folder here. And it is a very handy option that we have now. So let's go and ask it to have a dark theme toggle button. So I have my prompt here, which is to create a dark theme toggle button that can switch the app theme from light to dark and vice versa. So let's go and hit enter and see if we get changes inside the file. So it's actually writing everything for us. It's adding a state to manage the theme, it's creating the toggle button and adding appropriate CSS classes. So once it's done with this, what we can do is we can either insert it or we can just copy everything and replace everything from here. So there you go. This is the new view and let's go and add a task. I'm just going to go and repeat the same task because that's easy for me. Let's go and add the description. And once you add the task, you can just click here and it will switch the theme. So you see the theme switching is working, which is really mind blowing. I can just click done and it will be done. And then I can delete this. So the app is working completely fine and we can chat with our code files and as extensive code files as these are. Now the next feature that I want to talk about is this amazing GitHub chat feature. Now what you can do is you can ask anything here and it will pull out all the latest and best GitHub repos for you. So if I say I want to create an app like ChatGPT, let's see what it says. And there you go, it pulled out all the public repos for something similar as ChatGPT. And if I click here, it's going to go and load everything of that GitHub repo. Now, traditionally, what you have to do is you have to skim through all the code as well as the readme file. But what you can do is you can chat with this and you can ask it different questions about this repo. So I'm going to go and ask it to explain this repo to me. And there you go. It went on and skimmed through all the files and explained what the code structure is, what the purpose of this repo is, as well as the dependencies, examples and demos, documentation, issue and contributions. So you have every knowledge about the repo without even having to spend hours on studying the repo. Now you might be wondering why is this important? So for people who want to contribute to the community and work on open source softwares, they would have to spend hours and hours on learning and going through the open source software repo. But what can they do now is they can use this amazing feature of github chart to actually get the explanation of each and every aspect of the repo this way your life will be way easier and to be honest this was my most favorite feature of all to have the capability to actually skim through github repos this is just mind-blowing and a dream for any developer like mine so with that said i want to wrap this video up i hope this video was valuable we went on and discussed all the new major updates and the features that i think are practically useful in any developer's life as I am a developer myself, if you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.